music news. When punk pierced the British music scene in 1977, America wasn't listening. Now they've caught up. Anarchy has spread across the USA in the form of Green Day. But this band has become so popular that tour demands have brought on a very unpunk case of exhaustion. Sleep is, as we've said, highly overrated. Snap caught up with them on their tour bus before they returned to America. Their second album sold 15 million and was followed up last year with the multi-platinum Insomniac. Quite an achievement in a country that missed out on punk the first time round. Back in 1977, you know, a lot of America could get the, you know, go to kids could go to college and get their their job <coughs> and uh, you know live a you know a nice little life. You know, the more uh, sort of like a 20-something generation just seems to be going to school and then you know. Basically, when they get out of school, they're twenty thousand dollars in debt because and there is no job to have. And there is no job. The public wanted something new, and Green Day provided it. It's about having no rules, doing whatever you want to do, and uh, that's why, you know, I grew up in it, and that's why I've interpreted it, and that's why I am, and that's why I'll always be. In January, they got to number seven with their biggest UK hit so far. But with all the money that worldwide success has brought, the bands say they're not going to become basket cases. I think if you base your happiness on monetary success, then you're choking, you know, then you're failing. And I, I think you just need to, I don't know, relax and do what, you, do what you always did. If you change your lifestyle too much, then pretty soon you're going to be searching for who you were, you know, and that's scary. In fact, they all miss the home comforts. And as Mike and Billy Joe have wives and children at home, even hard punk rockers get homesick. Of course I do. Horrible leaving. This will probably be our last tour for a while. Snap.